Hello and welcome to the fifth episode of Counter-Strike In-Depth. Today, we are looking at a German submachine gun of the modern age. An accurate and hard-hitting submachine gun that should satisfy all of your personal defense needs in a small armor-piercing package. This is the MP7. The MP7 was created in 1999 by a German manufacturer, Heckler & Koch, who are also famous for their designs of the UMP45 and the extremely popular MP5. It fires a unique round, the HK 4.6x30mm round, that boasts high armour penetration in an extremely light package. The weapon is listed as a PDW, a personal defence weapon, and has become very popular with law enforcement and special forces teams across the globe. In Counter-Strike Global Offensive, the MP7 is available for both teams and can be purchased in the submachine gun section for $1,700, making it the most expensive submachine gun that still gives a $600 kill reward. It fires at 750 rounds per minute and comes with four 30 round magazines, which can be reloaded in 3.15 seconds. The MP7 has very high accuracy and a very tight circular recoil pattern which makes it the perfect rushing weapon. It fires extremely accurately even while jumping and can be easily controlled while running directly forward. These traits make it the perfect support player weapon. It's cheap enough so you can fully buy grenades every round to help your entry fragger and gives enough money per kill to ensure you can always refill those grenades to help out your team every round. Fully automatic is the way to go with this weapon. Whilst it can be burst and tap fire to longer ranges, it being a submachine gun simply means it's not worth risking taking low damage shots. You have the speed and agility to get close to the enemy and spray them down with controlled, fully automatic fire. It may be expensive, but it does have the highest armor penetration in close ranges for submachine guns and a high $600 kill reward, meaning this little PDW should not be ignored. Developed by one of the greatest submachine gun manufacturers on the planet, the MP7 does indeed live up to its older counterparts. It may not be cheap for submachine guns, but it's still cheaper than any assault rifle and grants more money per kill. So, when you are rushing B no stopping like a blitzkrieg, embrace German efficiency. <laughs> <laughs> 